Hey everyone, I know you guys can see that my kinky twists are finally gone and I'm happy. I'm really happy to have my hair back. I know you guys are like, yay, no more kinky twist videos because I know you guys are tired of seeing them. I'm tired of making them. So I'm just really happy that my hair is back. It's extremely dirty and I'm about to just wash the heck out of this, my hair. Um... But yeah, my life, you guys, my life almost ended today. <sighs> I lost my Denman brush. I know, I know. I Like, how am I possibly going to be able to tame this beast without my Denman brush? And those of you that don't know what a Denman brush is, you really need to do some research and look it up. And because Denman brush is, is a must for natural hair. Um, but yeah, I, I misplaced it. I don't know where it possibly is. I've looked all over this house and I just about cried. Um, but I just went to the beauty supply store like five minutes ago and got this knockoff. Um, this is Annie. Sorry, Annie, no offense. But no, seriously, this brush, the design is pretty much exactly... Uh, it's pretty much similar, if not exactly the same, as the Denman brush. So, um, yeah. Now, with my Denman brush, I actually modified it. And I, I, I didn't know that you could actually modify your Denman brush until, like, I watched Kimmy Too. Um, but this actually slides up. Those of you with a Denman brush know what I'm talking about. This actually slides out. And then you just open it up. And then you can just take out whichever row of bristles that you want to take out and I don't want so many bristles running through my hair um, because it will I just don't need that many bristles running through my hair it detangles just fine with just five rows of them so I just taken out two of them they look like this you can just store it and put it away just in case you want to put them back and you can also take this out for cleaning, but um, yeah, you just fold it back and slide it back in. Oh, if I can get this. Hold on. See, this is why I, I like dimming. I don't know what this this stuff is. Okay. Oh, then you just slide it back in there. Oh. Bam, there it is. So. All I've done is taken out. Oops, actually, okay. All I've done is taken out two rows um, off the middle. I guess you can see that this row here and this row there. Um, it just works out better for my hair when I'm detangling. Now, those of y'all that don't have a dimming brush or aren't used to using one. When you get one, you can't just go through and start brushing your hair and just, you know, expect your hair to get magically detangled because it does not work like that. You have to actually, actually, I'll just demonstrate. I'm actually getting ready to, like I said, wash my hair thoroughly. So, um, and I'm also gonna be doing a deep condition with some stuff in the kitchen that you can use. Okay, so I'm just gonna take a small section out and demonstrate to you guys how to detangle with a dimming. At least how I detangle with it. So, here I have this section. It's not too big. First, actually, get some more my water spritz. Ignore the label, this is just me reusing bottles. All I have in here is water, and a bunch of diluted leave-in conditioners, water-based. Okay, so my hair is wet now, which you should, your hair should always be wet or well moisturized before you detangle. And I'm gonna take my wide tooth comb, and you always start from the ends of your hair, and you want to be gentle. If you encounter knots as you're combing, you do not want to rip the comb through the knots because that is going to damage your ends. You will you want to actually go through and work out the knots with your fingers 
If you cannot work out the knots, then you're going to have to cut them off, okay? So I'm just gently combing all the way up to my roots, okay? I'm getting some knots in my ends, so I'm just going to work it out with my fingers. And I expect to have a lot of shedded hair because my hair has been in braids for a month. And which is part of the reason why I needed my Demon Brush because I'm going to explain why the Demon Brush is so good to have, to own. Okay. Oops. I'm getting caught. All right, so once my comb can run completely through the section of hair, then you follow up with your dimming brush. And your, dim, your dimming brush is really good. Take a good look at it before. Of course, the same way you started with the comb, you're going to start detangling your hair from the ends and work your way up. And the Demon Brush is really good because it thoroughly detangles your hair and it also snags dead, shedded hair out of the rest of your hair. Okay. Okay. So this is how you use your Demon Brush. And I don't know if I already said this already, but this is how I use my Demon Brush. Like I said, you do not want to just randomly take the brush and brush through your hair because you're going to rip your hair out that way. Um, and see, it snagged a bunch of shedded hair, all that shedded hair out of that one section. So. Yep, there it is. There's my hair completely detangled. My fingers can run completely through it. No problems. So there's a quick little how-to lesson in detangling. Hope that helped.